Hello everyone and welcome back to Prashika's world. Hope you all are doing great. It's 5.45 in the morning and we are really excited for this trip. We are going to Tirupati after 10 long years. We are going to the Sri Venkateshwara Swami Temple which is a Hindu temple situated in the hills of Tirumala at Tirupati which is located in Andhra Pradesh. The temple is also one of the richest in the world in terms of donation it receives and the wealth it owns. We are at the Chennai Central which is one of the busiest railway stations in South India and one of the most important hubs in the country as well. We are now going to board the Saptagiri Express which is going to leave at 6.25 in the morning. Nostalgic feeling as it all reminds me about my childhood days. We have departed on time. It is 6.25 now. Train number 16057 is what we are going through which is the Saptagiri Express which will reach Tirupati by 9.40. It's going to cover 147 kilometers with 7 stoppings and we will be in Tirupati in the next 3 hours and 15 minutes. I am so excited for this train journey as I am travelling to Tirupati after a very long time and also I am travelling in the morning trains after a very long time. The weather is quite good and I am hoping to see the sunrise soon. Here you go. Goodbye Chennai for a few days from now. The cost of this train is just 85 rupees for uh, sitting which is a non-AC and you also have AC compartment uh, it charges you around 500 per head because the climate is awesome and we wanted to enjoy the view from the window we chose the non-AC compartment how many of you love to stand next to the door and enjoy the beautiful scenic view when you are going by the train I definitely enjoy and uh, I always try to stand uh, only when the train is moving slowly. We are crossing the Arakonam station now and we have noticed that only authorized IRCTC people from the station canteen are only coming and selling breakfast and uh, getting down immediately in their station. Initially we used to get local vendors also uh, that used to come and sell but I am um, not very sure if uh, this is the rules that has been put or uh, the local vendors are not coming nowadays. Do comment down below if you know why the local vendors don't come and sell inside. Unfortunately, when we left from Chennai, the weather was cloudy and we did not witness the sunrise. But the weather is quite chill now and we are enjoying the beautiful view. I think after this spot we'll be able to see two diversions. Let me see if I can show it to you. Yes, the left side lane is the division to the Bangalore and Coimbatore uh, line and the right side is the Tiruthani line that we are uh, moving towards which will go to Renigunta. The train is now moving at 99 uh, kilometers per hour, thus uh, standing a little inside and trying to capture the beautiful view. We have now entered the Andhra border and the view is mesmerizing. We are crossing a very small station called Pudi and after this we will uh, reach Renigunta. The 
this is the first time i'm actually witnessing a solar plant and it looks really great with the beautiful view at the back with the mountain ranges we are now reaching rainy gunta madam side madam and <laughs> unfortunately there was a um, vendor that was trying to get in and i was standing on the way so in rainy gunta there was a halt of 10 to 15 minutes where the engines were changed and now we are taking the opposite direction to go to tirupati which is just 9 kilometers from here and i'm really excited we can see the tirumara hills from here Here we have reached Tirupati. Balaji Bhagwan, Venkateshwara, Goinda, Goinda. This is how the train looks from inside, and it's a very comfortable seating for uh, three hours travel. We have now reached the Tirupati railway station and unfortunately my shoe has torn off so that's why we're going to search quickly for a cobbler or a shoe maker who can stitch the shoe for me and on a temporary basis there are multiple ways to reach to Tirumala you can take the road route via jeep via bus or via your own transport or you can go by walk again by walk there are two different routes that you can uh, take with two different amount of steps that you'll have to cover and the time range for both will also be different uh, also uh, did i get an accommodation to stay in tirumala uh, because i don't have one now so stay tuned to know how did i travel to tirumala and also what was my accommodation they say that you should visit the padmavati temple uh, before going to tirumala unfortunately we do not have an accommodation and uh, it's already 11 and padmavati temple has closed for uh, the afternoon so we decided to quickly go to tirumala and see if we can get an accommodation there and uh, um otherwise we will have to come back to tirupati for uh, staying uh, this night because the darshan is only happening tomorrow So I will continue my journey to Tirumala in the next vlog and you will also come to know whether I got my accommodation or not. Uh meanwhile do consider subscribing so that you're notified whenever I put my next video. Stay tuned. And this is a quick glimpse of my next video which will be posted shortly.